All right, guys, we are in Ridgewood, New Jersey, and we are behind the scenes for the 4th of July fireworks getting set up right behind me. And my uncle Mike is part of the company that sets it up every year, and he allowed me to go film some clips about what it takes for a behind the scenes pyrotechnic show. So let's check it out. It's fireworks extravaganza. This is the company putting on the fireworks show. Uncle Mike, introduce okay. yourself. Hello, I'm Mike Janky, and uh, I'm a power technician. So this is what we we like to do. So these, everyone on, everything on top of these they're, tubes is going in, right? They're all going in. I'm just putting the E match in them, and Sean's connecting them to the box. This is like a plastic cap. This is E-match and this is what explodes. So we plug it in and uh, when the signal hits it, this explodes and ignites the fuse. This is the fireworks shell itself. On the bottom there's a lifting charge, gunpowder. And this fuse goes down, it, when it explodes, it sends this straight up the tube, propels it probably about 400 feet in the air and there's a timer on it as it goes up and as it reaches its height, it blows up, makes a color across the sky. And each tube goes to one of these wires right here? Yes, to a slat, and then the computer, when the computer sends out the signal, it sets that one off. This is uh, the four inch, the green ones are five inch, and then we back down to four, and then the red are three inch. We used to shoot six inch here, but we have no room. This is five inch, this is four inch. And then you guys were saying that there's eights and tens, <laughs> just not here. They're like that big. They're big. So yeah. They're big. So what exactly makes this safe? Things Nothing's hooked up yet. Okay. And uh, you never know, static electricity could do something. But... Whoa. Is that lightning? That's, that's thunder. Lightning. Lightning. Somewhere. Lightning warning. Yeah, the last one I did was That's convenient. Almost all the fields have them though. Right. The baseball yeah. fields and shit. But this is shunted. This is they're twisted and that that prevents static electricity from firing this. So when we get ready to do it, we pull that off, untwist it, and stick it in. I think if you drop it, you mm -hmm. smash it, it goes off. Wow. So literally like a nine volt battery would set this off. And all the wires that come off of here, everything wired in. From here, all the all the display. Go over to this trailer over here. Which ends up, that's where command center, where you'd be fired by the computer. And the show is gonna be all the way down there. That's where everyone's gonna be sitting. And these all come from China, yeah? These, yes, these are from China. From this guy. Need a lot of permits, right? Oh, yeah. No, I'm not in. Every year, the owner of the company goes to China and he basically special orders what he wants. And they build them his specifications, basically. And how many fireworks we got? Thousands. Thousands? Yes. For one show. Yes. As long as Sean does a good job, we'll have a good show. That's right. If I screw up, nothing goes off. Uh, do you guys ever have duds? Oh, yeah. Pull the collar back, it slips in, and it's got contact, and the rubber acts like an uh, insulator and holds it against the pin. God. And then we'll do a continuity test later to make sure everything's touching. Just plugs into that, and away yep. it goes. So then the computer will be able to tell if these are all making contact. And then we got to come out when everything's loaded. Yes. Which is a little very, it's very unnerving because it's charged basically. Me, right. We pull this plug, put the match in there, tie it so it doesn't come loose, drop it down mortar tube, and then we make a little knot on there so it doesn't come flying out and get loose. Pretty tedious, yes it is. And it's, Fourth of July is always hot, very humid, very sweaty. Very disgusting. Always a chance for rain. I've been doing this show for over 20 years, but I've been doing fireworks for most of my life. We, right now here in Jersey, we shoot under the owner's license, but I have a license for New York City and the five boroughs to take a special test. It has to be renewed every year. How long would you say this the show lasts? They've done studies, and they found people get bored after about 23 minutes. So, so how long does a pod take to wire? It depends how hot and how <laughs> tired you are. I was here last night till two in the morning. Unload the truck and then screwing them all together. See, these are all angled to go over the pond, over the swimming pool, over there and away from the crowd. 
That's what we call a drop zone. It'll be real nice for the swimmers tomorrow. They'll be <laughs> swimming into debris. There's a road it's going to go over. Today is mostly all wiring. Yes. Put the, the explosives get put in. The wires get connected from the explosive. The slat gets connected via wire to the module. module. That's a module, right? So that's a Q number right, on here. Then the Q number goes to a computer, and then the computer tells it all what to do, right? right? Yeah. Well, so 29 modules on this show. Scattered around the field. Yep. And they're all interconnected by these gray wires. Every one of these has to be connected by hand. The tubes and the boxes and everything, everything is put together by hand. The Ridgewood police, they just made me move my car. They're blocking off the entrance and they're blocking off all the roads. So we'll see if I'm even able to get out of here. How much does a fireworks show cost? Oh, they vary. This is about 30, some 35,000. The whole day between the fireworks and the parade, with everything costs the committee about 150000 which the committee raises from donations. Laura and I, well, I thought we were going to see the New York City fireworks, but they're not even on the Hudson. They're on the East River, I've just been informed. So we're going to be seeing the Jersey City fireworks from the Jersey side of the Hudson in West New York. What are you guys working on? From the flag. The flag. Oh, an, Ameri an American flag? The cops and the fire department are blocking off the entrance to the municipal park and blocking off all the roads, blocking off traffic. The only way to get out of here is by getting out of here now. But I think I got and covered a lot of the process, so I hope that you appreciate what I did get to capture.